Hi, so today I'm going to show you the technique that I use to create a winged uh, liner on regular or normal or non-hooded um, eyes, you would say. And today I am going to use um, a gel liner to do this with a um, small angled brush, if you can see that. You could use um, a brush like this, um, that, that is an eyeliner brush, um, or you could use um, a liquid eyeliner, which looks like this, if you can see. Um, you could also use, um, oops, just broken that. You could also use a coal pencil, which looks like this. You probably know that. Um, or if you want to go for a softer look, you could use a, a night shadow with a brush. So I usually start in the middle of my eye uh, close to the lash line, obviously. Um, and I tend to work um, towards the outer go corner to begin with. And I keep it, keep the line close to the lash line to begin with. Um, and I use the edge, the top of um, the bristles on this brush to do that. So I'll just open this. Um, another thing to bear in mind is if you're um, taking your time to do the liner that, and you're using a gel liner like this, um, put it upside down when you're not using it and that will help make sure that it doesn't dry out for you. Okay. So if you want to get rid of any excess off your brush, you can just use the back of your hand. And then I'm going to start in the middle, as I said, and just ooh, get my lashes out of the way. And then just start lining the lash line. This bit doesn't have to be overly neat because you are going to um, tidy up after. Then I'm going to start um, from the inner corner towards the middle. Now you want your liner to be at its thinnest in the inner corner. So I'm going to use a technique called tight lining. Um, and all I'm going to do um, basically is use the edge of my bristles again and just press the product into my lash line. I'm not going to move the brush at all to create a line. I'm literally just going to press the product into the lash line. It's just adding a little bit more. And then just pressing and giving it, giving it a little wiggle. And same over here. And then when you get towards the middle, you can make it a little thicker because this particular um, eyeliner look is um, at its thinnest in the inner corner and getting um, gradually thicker. Tidy this bit up here as I go. And then um, I'm ready to create my wing. And all I'm going to do is follow my lower lash line. Therefore, sort of taking it up like that. And you can make the wing as long or as short as you want. Um, and I um, like to p 
pull my skin a little to make sure that I have a flat surface to work on and then I can just follow my lash line and create the line. So I'm just going to grab some more product, pull the skin back and just make sure that I follow my lower lash line. And then you want to connect the um, end of the line to um, the liner that you have created on your lash line. And to do this, I'm going to create a sort of triangle shape. So again, I'm going to pull my skin back so that I have a flat surface to work on. And then I'm going to connect this to about here like that and then you can just fill in um, the little triangle shape that you have I have a little mascara on at the moment, so it's making it a little bit more difficult for me to see what I'm doing. Um, so yeah, always make sure that you put your eyeliner on before you put mascara. And that's essentially it. Um, you can then go ahead to tweak and tidy and I recommend that you do this and have your eyes open looking in the mirror because at the end of the day you want the liner to look good when your eyes are open, not when they're closed. Um, so look in the mirror, eyes open and, and then you can see where you want to tweak or tidy up. Um, so I'm just going to tidy a little here. Make it a little thicker here. And bring this in a little. And that um, is basically it. Um, this isn't my favourite look on myself, purely for the reason that I have a slightly hooded eye. Um, what I mean by hooded eye is um, when the skin um, above the mobile lid comes over and covers the mobile lid when your eyes are open. So I only have a slightly hooded eye because it, it's only covering it um, in this area. But you can have a very hooded eye where the skin covers the whole mobile lid when um, your eyes are open. Um, so I don't tend to use um, this technique to create um, a winged liner for hooded eyes. Um, but next week I'm going to do a tutorial on a winged liner for hooded eyes. So hopefully with um, this tutorial and next week's tutorial, um, there's something there for everybody. Um, I will write down um, the products that I've used um, and all my social media stuff, just in case you want to follow me, which would be awesome. Um, thank you for watching. Dear Bye.